Hey guys, sorry if I look a total mess. I wasn't planning on filming today. I was actually trying to upload this video this morning and all the footage was completely screwed up. So I just decided to film it again. So this is a spring drugstore beauty haul. I don't have too many things, but I have a really I have a couple of really exciting things. I've got some of my beauty essentials, some really bright lip products, and some really trendy nail polishes. So I'm just gonna get started with the basic stuff so I can save the fun things for last. So first I picked up the e.l.f. Shine Eraser Blotting Sheets. If you all see my empties video, which I will link up here, you'll see that I ran out of my oil absorbing sheets. So I wanted to get some new ones and I haven't tried them, any from e.l.f. before, but I've been using them and I have liked them. Then I got two brushes. The first is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. Emily Noel 83 talked about this a lot. And this is one of the new products from e.l.f. and I found this at Target. So check your Target because they've incorporated some of the new releases. I know they have baked eyeshadows, the $2 lip stains, some new, some new brushes, and some other things as well. But check your Target because they've got some of the newer e.l.f. products there. So I plan on using this for cream blush and this will be good for cream highlight as well because it's so tiny for cream or liquid products. So I'm excited to test that out. And then I got another one of the up and up crease brushes from Target because I guess mine got too much water, the ferrule and all the glue completely dissolved and all the hairs fell out. So I think I'm just playing it safe. I'm going to have to spot clean instead of deep clean, but I'm really liking this. Now to move on to bright lips. What I'm wearing today is a Maybelline Vivid's lipstick in Fuchsia Flash. This is a gorgeous really bright pink color. It's a good alternative to matte candy yum yum, except it's not matte, which is awesome because I do not like matte formulas. I'm wearing it today and I really like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, at first I didn't want to get any of these because I don't like the scent of Maybelline lipsticks, but once it's on your lips, you really can't smell it. So I'm really glad I got this one. And can you all please leave me your color recommendations for these lipsticks because I might want to try out some more, but I'm not sure. And then I picked up two Maybelline Color Sensational High Shine Lip Glosses. These are absolutely amazing and I think that they're really gorgeous. And the first one I have is Limited Edition and it is Mirrored Plum. This is from the Fashion Week collection. I'm obsessed with this. It's really opaque, very pigmented, creamy, and it does not have a scent and it's not sticky. I really, really love this. It's a really gorgeous purple. And then I also picked up Raspberry Reflections, which is one of the permanent colors. And if you can see here, I used to think raspberry was purple, but you can see compared to the purple, it's very pink. Uh, it's very much a raspberry color. So I recommend, I've not really tried the raspberry, but I've tried the mirrored plum and I absolutely love it. So I really recommend these lip glosses. And I just wish they had more colors in there. In the line, there's not too many colors that I like have to have, but I really like these lip glosses. They're amazing. And lastly, I have three nail polishes, two of which I'm wearing today. The first I got in my Easter basket, and this is OPI, You're Such a Budapest. This is just a really gorgeous periwinkle color leaning lilac, and it looks more blue, but when you go out in the sunlight, it you can definitely see the purple to it, but it is just really gorgeous, and I'm definitely loving this for springtime. And then on my accent nail over top, I have this hard candy nail polish and black tie optional. This is one of their new nail polish releases and this only costs $4. And this is a great alternative to a lot of the indie nail polishes. I like Linderelli and this, I know China Glaze came out with a polish like this, but I knew um, from the Polishaholic blog that I follow, I'll leave her down below. And she said that the white glitters weren't coming out very well, but when she reviewed this nail polish, she said she really liked it. So of course I had to get it. And I am wearing it, like I said, I hope you can see it. And I really love the color. And lastly, I have another one of the Hard Candy Nail Polish. This is from the Sprinkles collection or something. And it is called Gummy Green. It's just a really pretty mint color with black and silver glitter in here. And I, I I'm really excited to use this. I think it'll be more like a jelly formula, but I know a lot of brands are coming out with this. I know Nails Inc. had something, Illamasqua, Deborah Lipman, like speckled polishes. So, so I was excited to get one from Hard Candy and it only having to be $4. So I just like to try trendy nail polishes when they're not crazy overpriced. So I know that this was like a super quick video, but um, I am 
running off to breakfast so I hope you all have a wonderful day if you have a recent haul video please leave it as a video response and please leave me a comment of your favorite shades of the Maybelline Vivids and the high shine lip glosses I would love to know what you all think as well as if you've tried out any of the new hard candy nail polishes so thank you all so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I will talk to you soon bye guys